Welcome back, everyone. I'm Donna Ruco, and you're on the list. Tulsa's Oktoberfest is lauded as one of the best in the nation, and it kicks off tomorrow. Erin Christie tells us gearing up for the chicken dance is one of the top three talkers around Tulsa. At number one, Lindy Oktoberfest. Things to catch at the annual beer fest, MCs and dirndls, of course. What are some German terms that I could throw out there and look really cool? Bitte ein Bier. That's a beer that you want a beer. All the German beer you can handle. More like Warsteiner. Warsteiner. Yeah, Warsteiner. Warsteiner. But if but I just say Warsteiner, I'm okay. Yeah, you're going to get a beer. In light or dark. Weiss in Dunkel. Dunkel or Dunkel? Dunkel. And schnitzel, turkey legs, and cheesecake from Tulsa's own Ludger's Bakery. Do you want some beer? I'm the only German who doesn't drink beer. What? I was 17, I got so drunk I never touch it again. At number two, Tulsa goes Portland. More than 100 Tulsa leaders traveled to the Oregon hotspot for a little advice. Portland native Mason Beecroft moved here nine years ago. His thoughts? Breweries is the number one thing. And there are more breweries per capita in Portland than any city in the world. Mason co-owns Dead Armadillo Brewery, which just bought a space in Tulsa. Do you think we have the potential to be a city like Portland? Without a doubt. Yeah, without a doubt. And number three, Studio 75 Disco Party. That's the name of the Philbrook's last anniversary celebration. To kind of cap off this year-long celebration we've been having, so we're kind of telling everybody to dress up, get down. Best place in town for attire, Cherry Street's Cheap Thrills. The plunging neckline, it's back. Most anything gold would be a good option, or polyester, especially for the guys. Nothing matches, of course, but that's okay. Get your groove on at the Philbrook October 25th. Did they have fashion tape in the 70s? Now you are caught up and glued in around Tulsa.